All right, so let's just dive right into this. So the next, the next Xbox, PlayStation Five is coming out in 2020. I'm an Xbox fanboy. I own all, all three platforms, whatever. So um, Xbox, next code name, Anaconda, Project Anaconda, Project Lockhart, uh, which is uh, from from all the research that I've gathered um, and rumored from, let's say, um, Crackdown Three was uh, supposed to run off of their servers to have like a fully destructible environment that like the Xbox couldn't process, but their servers can. So like, you're gonna run the multiplayer off their servers and just have this, um, you know, immense experience that that is absolutely ridiculous and, and, and the physics would just eradicate the Xbox completely if you were to run it on it, you know? So uh, the, pro the theory that I have now is, especially because the Xbox has become a little bit more affordable because they have subscription services like, um, Xbox All Access and all that stuff. So it's like 20 bucks a month. You can get the Xbox One S or the Xbox One X for like 30 something dollars a month, whatever, for like two years. And then after two years is up, you get to keep the console plus, you get Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass with that feature. So uh, now the thing about Project Anaconda and Project Lockhart is my theory is that you're gonna have a console that's full of hardware that's gonna be more expensive and then you're gonna have a console that has virtually no hardware and is le a lot less expensive. So basically cloud gaming is gonna slowly become a thing. Now what this is gonna cause is a price drop in the consoles, you know, initial, you know, it, the initial cost of the console is gonna be cheaper. So like you can, let's say, have a 4K gaming experience with a console that'll only cost you maybe a hundred bucks. Who knows? I don't know the price. I don't know what their goal is. But if you're an enthusiast and want something a little bit with, with a little bit more horsepower, you can buy the, the more expensive uh, Xbox, which will probably cost five, upwards of five hundred, six hundred dollars. Who knows? Uh, like this is all just rumored, especially because they're probably not going to announce it within until like maybe like E3 or um, next year or the year after, or their Xbox convention that they have now, uh, Expo. Um, but like, so so basically, it, it's probably going to be a subscription service again, just so they it'd be a lot more. Um, available to just purchase rather than having to pay an upfront cost of $600, you just pay the monthly cost. Uh, now the cool thing about um, streaming uh, cloud games is that you don't have to pay for um, an expensive console, right? You would pay for the game or pay for the game pass or whatever and then you would just run it off their servers, no installation, just streaming it. Now the problem with that is latency and input uh, lag if, that, if, if it's even a thing, which it will be because uh, when it comes to pro gaming, let's say you need to have a LAN, you need to have basically zero lag and uh, at least a one millisecond response time with like 144 hertz. It's typically the pro standard, but when it comes to home use, yeah, sure, it's not gonna matter as, a, you know, if it's a four, one to four millisecond response time, if it has, you know, if it's a uh, like a, at least a 20 ping, you know, like lag free experience, you're good, right? So uh, for home use, cloud gaming uh, seems a lot more appealing. Um, I'm now now another thing that they've learned also from the Xbox one is that you know hopefully and I highly doubt this but like the, the next Xbox will be a whole new platform ie no game history purchases no backwards compatibility but that's probably gone out the window since the Xbox one because if you Nintendo and PlayStation and Xbox all did this when they first launched their one PS4 Nintendo switch is that you're previous console history is gone it's a new platform only you know when i first got the xbox one when it first came out i only had a library well the the marketplace only had literally 16 games in it and it sucks but eventually they, they started adding in 360 og xbox games and my purchase history was still there so i was able to play my old games that i had purchased digitally before um so the next xbox my predictions will be especially because they've been very fan catery uh, for the past few years now. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess the Xbox One controller will still work on the next gen console. There's no reason why it shouldn't at all. Um, the games will, be, your like, game library will still be there <clears throat> because, you know, uh, even with a new operating system, you got Windows 10 or Windows XP or Windows 8, like you're still gonna have those games there because it's still a Windows operating system. So the Xbox OS should not be you know, a whole new thing with a whole new library of games, it would make absolutely no sense. You want to still keep your library there and still get more bang for your buck, right? So that's the goal. Now, now that that's basically my rumors, my my theory for the next Xbox, basically a cheaper console with cloud gaming and a more expensive con console where you just run it off the console itself. And another prediction would be a solid state drive as well, um, because you want to load these 4K games a lot faster 
uh, than the current load times that you get now. I mean, Battlefront 2 takes forever to load. Red Dead also takes a little bit to load, but it's not as, it's not too bad. Um, but you want solid state drives now. I mean, the, the PC standard now, I'm, I'm for like booting up your OS, typically is a solid state drive now. I have an external hard drive plugged into my um, Xbox One currently. So like the cool thing when I had the original Xbox One about the One X, all you have to do is unplug the hard drive, sign into your account on the new hard, uh, Xbox, and just plug in the hard drive in your library is instantly available rather than having to re-download, reinstall, redo everything, which is great. So. Um, it's going to be a lot more practical for the user. It's going to be a lot better for the user, and it's only going to get better. You know, the only way, the only direction is up, right? So, um, and I'm hoping uh, for the the PS PlayStation Four is kind of awful about that because you have PlayStation Now, which is a subscription fee uh, subscription service to play PS3 games, but it'd be nicer if you can just throw in your disc or uh, backwards compatibility. But, um, and if the PS, if, if Xbox, see, here's the thing, if Xbox has the next gen console still be essentially an Xbox one, just souped up or just have a lot more new features, then, um, it'll succeed. And if PlayStation five is just a whole new, if they repeat, if history repeats itself again with that, it will fail. It's bound to fail. They, they cannot do that. They have to make it like cater to its fans or else they're going to fail. Like, it needs to have backwards compatibility. It needs to have your purchase history. My Steam account has had games for the last 10 years and they're still there. There's no reason why they should disappear at all. So, uh, yeah, but so the Xbox One uh, X hopefully won't be obsolete when these consoles come out. I'm still hoping that, because it's still a 4K console and it's only been out for a few years, uh, about a year and a half. No, it's only been like, oh, it's, just, it's, just been, it's basically been a year. So, two years, three years, I guess that would be the, the, the point in time to. Uh, upgrade again. I'm definitely not going to right away just because I'm I, I'm sick of buying consoles and I don't necessarily want my attic to get stacked with more and more consoles like as time progresses. But yeah, that's just how it is. I guess. Also, another thing is um, the next Xbox may not have a disc drive, which is bad for. It uh, depends if if they're gonna have a disc drive. You know, if the powerful console will have a disc drive and the least less powerful console will have a disk drive so it would make sense to have a less powerful console to run the 360 games and xbox one games but still have way more horsepower through cloud storage and play the newer games on there so um i don't think their goal is to replace their previous consoles anymore i mean it will stop eventually getting support because old hardware becomes obsolete over time so because they don't even advertise the original xbox one anymore it's only the one s and the one x and, and it'll eventually happen to the one s and one x and so on and so forth um, but if not having a disc drive, I, I buy all my games digitally now, especially because I, I don't see a point in reselling my games for a lot less or even reselling them at all. So I just keep them in my digital storage or digital library now instead of having to buy a disc. So I don't care about, I mean, even with PC gaming, disc drives are a thing of the past. I have not used my disc drive. I've used my just disc drive twice. And even then it's like on my PC that I've had for like six years and I still didn't even need to use it then because um, I, I bought Crisis physically because it was cheaper and I, I, I could have just inputted the code and downloaded it rather than having to put the disc in. Operating systems now can be purchased with USB drives. So, a disc drive is pointless. Um, so people who want a, a, a collection, I mean, it's, it also, it's a waste of resources. You know, discs are, and discs in the plastic cases, like, you don't need them anymore. Uh, it, it, it is way more efficient to have, you know, streaming services and digital services rather than having to have a physical copy. I guess it's more concrete, and you actually own it rather than having to have the company technically own it and just you just use it, the art, you know, digital rights management, whatever. Uh, but having an Xbox One X, uh, I, sorry, having the next Xbox have uh, two at least options is, is nice. So um, I, I probably would go for the cheaper one at this point just because uh, I like my One X a lot and I like 4K gaming with it, but uh, it, especially because you know new tech comes out a lot more frequently now, there is no point in getting the more expensive product at this point. So, uh, but I'm gonna wait and see what they have to offer. I'm, I'm assuming they're gonna amaze me because Microsoft is supposed to be innovative and their, their motto is innovation, especially because like Xbox was like basically the first console with DirectX, which is why I call it DirectX, the, the, the Direct Xbox, that's a mouthful, but uh, let me know what you guys think of the next Xbox, uh, Project Anaconda, Project Lockhart. Um, and uh, like and subscribe if you liked what I had to say. I feel like I had the knowledge uh, capable of talking about this. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.